Good morning, guys. It's Max Convexity. Hope everyone's having a great day. Let's check out these defiance funds and see how we're doing. The market just opened. Well, one thing, uh, I didn't come on and do a, and do a, a show last night on the profit boxes because I just got them drawn this morning. Believe it or not, and I'm not bullshitting about this. I could even show it to you guys, but the daily trades for Defiance has not been updated yet. It wasn't updated last night, and I wasn't that worried about it. I figured, well, it'll be updated by the morning, right? Okay, so look at this. Let's just choose uh, Triple QI for an example. It has it has the trade right here. That's April 3rd, 88.40, and there's the strike. It's the uh, 18.190 level, right? Well, I usually get that from the interday trades because it's more accurate, and, and it'll give you the actual trades. Well, look, for it doesn't have. It has yesterday's trades, <laughs> and all three of them do. So I don't like to do this. <clears throat> I've been burned by doing this before, but I just used their math. And I just used that they have today 151 at 18.190 for 88.40. Anyway, uh, that's going to have to do for today. I don't know what's the, going on with the intraday trades and why they aren't up yet. Anyway, that's why my whole report was late. So I got up this morning and I did the report with the information found on the front page of the spreadsheet. But last night, even on even the spreadsheet didn't have this information. Intraday trades were still yesterday in the, or in the website. I'm sorry, not the spreadsheet. And the website was still yesterday's information. So now at least we have today's information. So let's take a look. Um, let's see how the market opened. The spreadsheet really doesn't matter this early that much. It's too early to tell. All right, here's Russell. Russell opened under the profit box, but is moving up and it's now about at break even. Here is SPX. SPX opened under the profit box and is now right in the middle of the profit box. Here is NDX. NDX still has some work to do. It's under the profit box, even though it's a green bar and going up, it's still under the profit box. See what else do we have to look at? Um, I mean, since I haven't shown you the spreadsheets, we can see that JPY is going for three hundred and seventy-seven thousand dollars. Excuse me. <clears throat> Triple QY is going for uh, Triple QI is going for 1.3 million. All right. Yeah, 1.3 million. Right now they've realized about well, right now they'd be down six hundred thousand because they're underneath the profit box. <clears throat> IWMY going for eight hundred thousand. Right now they're down four hundred thousand. Let's check out JEPY. Okay, they're going for three hundred and seventy-seven thousand, and right now they're up one hundred and ten thousand. Some of those other ones didn't seem right. Um, Russell and let's look at Russell and Triple Q's. Triple Q's is definitely no profit right now. I thought we had two of three in the profit. Russell to me looks like yeah, it's right there. It's it may be a little under. All right, so spy T, not very fun for me to cover, but making money is never boring. I'm trying to find a better way to cover it. They're still doing 14 contracts. Their strikes are the 5205 is the short strike. The bot strike is 5220. They they sold the sold strike for $15.15. They bought the 5220 strike for 785 the difference between those two is seven or eight bucks seven or eight bucks times 14 times 100 comes to ten thousand dollars which is what they're gonna make off this trade 
Um, I don't have any idea what this number over here. Just ignore this number in this last column. Hmm. Okay. Look, no, I don't. I, that number is supposed to equal twenty. They made this is supposed to show how much they can distribute based on. All right, gosh darn it! Now I got to figure this out. I don't even like this. I, I defy it's my favorite fun, but this spreadsheet is meaningless. This 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 is an overlay, and it has nothing to do. This has zero point zero point zero percent to do with the profitability of the fund. Spy T owns ninety eight percent of Spy T is Spy shares. So you just hope it goes up. This this little thing is just a little it's just a little enhancer that adds a little two two or three cents a share that they hopefully can pay twenty cents by the end of the month. This number over here should equal twenty because this. Hmm. Okay, well I'll work on that. Like I say, I I hate this spreadsheet. You guys don't know how. It's just because I hate showing stuff that's meaningless. This this uh, this means nothing. Yes, making money is fun. They're going to make the money. So this sheet is, uh, when you sell an option, they make the money as soon as they sell it. They don't even care what they buy it back for. When you're in the extrinsic income game and, and they're selling one strike and buying another strike, they're selling this strike and buying this strike. So whatever the net extrinsic is, which in this case, is well, which in this case is the amount they earn, which is ten thousand um, dollars. It's uh, that that's that's what they're going to make by the end of the day. Where the market goes, that that's why I'm having problems with this. Like on profit boxes, where the market goes on the other ones, it makes a big freaking deal where it lands. It doesn't on this. It's just spy shares. It's just spy shares, and this is little. This is a little kicker. I just haven't. I'm, I'm just mad that I can't find an effective way to. To visually show how this works, I'm just gonna have to, just gonna have to keep working on this. And in any event, like I say, board making money is never boring, um, but uh, they're just the data presentation angle on this. If you guys have any suggestions on the way you guys want to see this data presented, I mean, it just it's. Uh, I got some pushback when I said I didn't even want to cover it. I don't mean I I don't like making money. I you know I like that you guys are making money. There's just not a, it's not a real uh, effective way to cover it. I mean, I guess I could, I guess we could do this. I tried this off the get go to help people visualize it. Um, let's see. We could draw, like I say, and it's, it's disingenuous to call this a profit box, but. I don't know how to make a bright red. I mean, there's where the spread is. And that we've I put the spread on here before. That really doesn't tell you anything because what you aren't really rooting for anything. You're rooting for the market to be as high as possible. Because this is just a spy fund. You know, um, it, it's just it's 98% of it. She owns spy shares. This is just this is things called an overlay. It just it just helps them to pay a dividend, but it doesn't matter if you close above it or below it. Really, you want to close. Really, I guess you want to close below it for the sake of the spread. That's why I'm saying it doesn't make any sense. You want to close below it for the sake of the spread. Well, you have full profit on the spread, but you lost a lot of money on your spice shares. So there's nothing to root for. You just want the market to go up. This fund could not be any more simple. And and it's it's a beautiful thing. I love it. I just don't love the data presentation angle of it. Like I say, this this means nothing. I can't, I need to find some way to. Even the running total doesn't mean anything because they're just going to pay 20%. They're going to make the distributions equal 20%. They aren't trying to... The reason I think the other one's so interesting is because they're trying to earn as much as they can. Oh, wow. Let's see how much we can make off the... You know, if we try to pay out the maximum we can, that's what the other funds are doing. And that's fun. And that's interesting to look at. This, ah, uh, we're going to do this one little spread and pay out 20%. There's no mystery in what they're going to pay. It's just... It's just... uh. I don't know. Anyway, sorry to rag on Spy T so much. I'm really mad because these guys didn't have my numbers last night. I don't know why. I like to do this at night. 
and have all this that I'm talking about with you guys now settled the night before. And then in the morning, we just come in and we look at how the market opened. And then I say, I'll see you at lunch. Easy peasy, right? All right. Well, guess what? I'll see you at lunch. Easy peasy. Have a good one. Sorry about all my bitching, but I'm just, I just need to think of something new on Spy Tea.